This is Barn Mates. And uh, much like this episode, we are on an apology tour. Yeah, so we can... And I, I'd like to uh, apologize to everybody on the planet who I've offended. Maybe some people in space. I know there's some people in the Probably internet. International Space met Station. Um, yeah. Especially the people from... New York, New York, New York. Just say NY. That city. Yeah. Um, um, not Jersey. Actually, I'm I'm okay with Jersey. I, I I root for the underdog, so they're they're good people. Unless the next episode changes our mind on that, um, which is unlikely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just fucking talk about Jersey again. You know the problem with Jersey. No. no we, um, we, we've already come through there. <laughs> um. No, okay, so this is another uh, another kind of bonding episode between, uh, we got one between Peridot and Lapis, and uh, she's trying to do everything she can to kind of be on her side, which I like. I like seeing Peridot legitimately trying to win somebody over when she was the one that had to be won over before. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I like seeing her legitimately trying, and Lapis, understandably so, just saying, like, keep your distance, don't talk to me. Uh -huh. um, and... Uh, yeah, and then you get that big ass eye that comes in at the end, and then you get one of the uh, little half garnet soldiers with a ruby eye, and it's like, ooh, it's gonna happen. Um, that was you. I was more like, the fuck! <laughs> um, I like it when something legitimately intimidating happens in the show. That eye seemed, you know, legitimately threatening, and uh, I think my favorite thing in the whole the whole episode is when. It was both really intimidating and really funny is when they build the lake, the tiny little lake, and then Lapis... She has that nom flashback. Yeah. Like that that, that was like some PTSD going on. It was my tomb. What an unbelievable <laughs> angle in drawing that one. That was just of that killed talking. me. Um, yeah, I, I, it's like, I mean, I both felt bad for her, but at the same time I was laughing because it was so over the top. Well, no, it, it is funny. It, it's it, very, very funny. It was like Principal Skinner, like, flashing back to his days, uh, you know, back in Nam. And just... uh, I felt the expressions on this one were especially good. Uh, a lot of paradox. See, episodes. now you wanted her to have mirror eyes. Yeah, uh, yeah, probably... That joke definitely wouldn't have worked. No. Uh, no if she not. had mere eyes. See? You needed to see, see those people. See? So you needed to see right? them squinting. Who was right? Who was right? Say it. Say it. Well, Say we it. We both agreed at some point. Say it! <laughs> New Jersey sucks! Um, <laughs> there, I said it. I no. know it's hard to get out of here. No, it was New York sucks. <gasps> <laughs> Watch. Like, I bet you anything, like, all the comments in the last video is going to be, like, New York and New Jersey, like, what the hell's wrong with you? Lay off them, and then, like, we clearly would have learned the lesson. <laughs> I know. No, no, that's the funny thing. Whatever I think is going to happen doesn't. So it never does. It's going to so, be yeah. New Yorkers themselves are just like, yeah, yeah fuck us. We blow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I so, it's like I can never predict what the reaction's gonna be. You know what I like about this show is that, of course, it has the action, it has the characters, it's got the great artwork. Uh, I really like the way they kind of show relationships and friendships and stuff like that. Uh, and it doesn't always work necessarily kind of the way you'd predict. Especially when he's drawing that line down the middle. I'm like, <laughs> don't do this. Don't do this. And they I don't. Just, and it's like, thank God. Well, I'm glad they brought... Oh, so the scene at the pool was like... That basically... That felt good to me. Because when she... Or when Steven drew that line, I turned to you and I'm like... She was trapped in an ocean. <laughs> For months, why does she even need a fucking house? Yeah. She could live. Do you think exposure to the elements is gonna kill this even girl? Even where she was, she's, she's on a top gem. Of, yeah, she's yeah. on top of. It's like, you why know, does she need to live in the much. barn with Paradot? And then later, it's just like I was trapped in that. I was like, see, Steven? You see? <laughs> you see what you're trying to do? What you're doing there? Um, and I like it isn't necessarily a thing that wins her over. I mean, it really kind of looks like no matter what, you know, it, it seems like it was more just time and her constantly trying that finally did it. Um, I think Peridot about ready to get blowed up helped well, too. Well, no, but I like too that she respects her wishes when she says, what do you want? I'll do it. And she says, leave. And she goes, oh, okay. that, that scene where she freaking crushes the tape recorder. I yeah, was like, that kind of harsh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, just because you know how important that thing is to Peridot. Yeah. Um, um, 
So I Thanks. like, but she's also doing it her own way. I love that opening where she's discussing her plan, how she's going to win Lapis over right in front of Lapis. And she turns and says, let's begin. Like, she's just going to do it. And she clearly hasn't caught on to everything yet, uh, which I like. And I think it's, again, especially for a kid's show, that sort of makes this kind of stuff more interesting to teach when someone has a legit reason for not catching on to all of this stuff. Um, so, yeah, trying to think of... Uh, trying to think of much else i think we have like i mean look, the color wise we have red we have green we have what color is pearl like white? pastel Yellow? of some yeah, sort like we, we got it's she's we have purple we got blue I easter mean, like, easter colors yeah <laughs> i look at pearl i think easter egg i feel like um, we kind of have like a lot of the colors in here now which i really like i think it makes them very very distinct uh, and stands out. And again, you can just look at their profile, their outline, have and you can tell who is who. Burnt Sienna? Uh, what color is Burnt Sienna? I guess that's it's, kind of answering my own it's question. It's Sienna that is burnt. Thank you. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> I think it's like a, like a weird off brown. Uh, okay. It's, uh, you know, let's go find a box of crayons. <laughs> yeah, that'll tell us. Um, um, like trying, one of those obnoxious. Like oh, so ones. a weird thing for me. Watching, I'm getting used to it again, but watching the, the previous episode and now this one, I'm having a little trouble taking Steven seriously because we met the kid. <laughs> and yeah. I, I well, just kid, he's like 18. Yeah. Well, that's... I know that's still okay. Dude, like, we're old to us. Yeah. That's a kid. So. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> but no, but like, I thought like maybe he'd be 14, 13, something like that. But I gotta he get had a booth next to us. And, is it uh, Zach? Uh, Zach something. <laughs> I forget his last it name. Was, it was... Callison? So, Cal wait, we didn't have, like, an in-depth talk Callison? or anything like yeah. that, but, but he just he, has, like, you know, maybe no, a we, slightly we, younger we, sounding voice, yeah. but it's, you know... I, it was surprising, because, yeah, I was thinking this is, like, a ten-year-old or something, and then and they're like, oh, the kid from Steven Universe is here, you should go say hi, and I'm like, all right, and when you say, it's like one of those things where you want to shake, like, a little kid's hand, like... <laughs> Hi! <laughs> like, I, we were kind of shocked, but uh, he was very friendly. I, I'm pretty sure he had no clue who we were, but yeah, he, no, he had. He the, did uh, that. He did that nice thing where he's like, "Oh, it's great, always to meet a fan." You like know, we all recognize, the support yeah. we can have. You know, yeah, that's so. always the most helpful. I'm like, I. I know the shtick. I mean, it's fine. This yeah. is the same shtick. We do I that. Give. We do the same yeah. thing. When no, it's like I mean, somebody shakes our hand and we don't know like who they are necessarily. Yeah. But, so, but I mean, like so. it, he was really nice. And we took but when you're when part. you're in a con situation like that, you're always friendly with you know the other people in the green room and stuff you meet. Well, I think people forget um, just how many people you meet at these cons. Oh God, I yeah. mean, you just run into all these people, and it's like some you know, some you don't. I uh, feel bad when fans or other people who were working at the con come up like the next year. I was like, oh yeah, we've met. I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, we did. You're that guy. I'm like that, brutally honest that, when it comes to that. I'm like, I'm sorry, my memory's terrible. I just try to remind me, <laughs> you know. If they bring something up, I'll usually. If I have it. a very vague memory, if I could just like just flash instantly and for a second be like, okay, I'll do the half lie thing and be like, oh yeah, I remember. You. If I, if you're right, if I completely don't remember them, like not even a flash just, in my you head, you can't keep it going. I, yeah, I, I'm just like, listen, up. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, we. <laughs> meet so many people and we do so many of these things this is like it's nothing against you and most of the time they're pretty cool with that one time i woke up in a back alley beaten nearly to death but by zach yeah uh, <laughs> that kid has got very violent left. he's got like a, a right hook that just, you would you would not believe um but bored with a nail on it that's his preferred weapon of choice people no, don't know that the, the funny thing is i thought maybe that would be an issue but uh watching it i mean i think because the voice is so distinct i'm just like it's oh, no it's just it's it, Steven. i mean it, it's getting better. Like I, I'm getting used to it again. But you can I hear just the cracking a little I bit just, more. I just I keep you know like I keep flashing old. to that guy. <laughs> like and it's hard to like with Di like somebody like Dipper or Mabel. Like that's their that's real their voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like Kristen Shaw or uh, the guy who plays it. That's their real voice. There's no affectation really. Um, but with him, it's so night and day because he just has a normal like late teens like 18 year old kind of voice yeah and then i remember we were well like the the party at the green room we're out on the balcony there at the hotel and we're all like talking and it's, it's like a kind of a large crowd on this balcony and uh out of nowhere i just hear steven universe's voice like he's doing it for somebody <laughs> i'm just like wow this is so surreal i've got steven universe behind me um we actually met his dad too it was very nice yeah um, and but but that's the thing i keep like his real dad not the actor, i keep flashing back dad. to just hearing that like normal guy voice and then all of a sudden hey steven 
And I'm like, guys, this is so weird. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. I thought I would just yeah, I, I'm I, share that. I guess I don't know. I, I guess it's a. I mean, to me, it's really a testament how good you know some voice actors can be because like I can just like I said, maybe a little I can hear the cracking voice a little bit more, but it's like. I just saw. I still hear. Well, Steve he had the, the universe, panel you know, right before it. us, and we were yeah. waiting for that panel to open. We were like sitting there, like, "Come on, Stephen, time's <laughs> up." Like, no, uh, we were just uh, we were just waiting for uh, his panel to end, and he did the voice there, like up at the up at the table, like for people. And I, and I, like, ah! Yeah, and I, I just, girls I, I like, Doug and I are just like sitting here watching this in our jaws when he just unleashes that little kid voice, and we're just, <laughs> <laughs> like, we were just like, wow. No, I remember because we were kind of saying like, I. This is him, right? Like, yeah, we didn't yeah, believe him. We barely believed in it at first. I was like, maybe this is someone else on the show? Like, maybe, and then we're just, <laughs> like, if he wasn't so young, I would have been like, well, maybe that's Steven Universe's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that wouldn't work, but if, if, if you were, like, you know, 15 years older, I would have been like, yeah, maybe maybe there's some little kid one. But no, he did it. It's an incredible talent. I can't, yeah. um, like, affecting a voice like that. Well, well, we can make our voices pretty high, but it's obviously a fake voice. Like, he can kind of, like, you can tell he's, it's a voice, but it's still, it he sounds, sounds like a legit, like little, a legit little kid. So, yeah. And he's, he's a good actor. Um, um, but, uh, yeah, trying to think of anything else with uh, uh, this episode. I'm really curious where it's going to go now with that little half fight, it, that fight, little ruby fight, coming out. Fight, fight, fight. Um, what they're going to do with that. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. We will see you in the next one. Later. Uh, yeah.